All right. Good evening, everybody. It is six o'clock and I will call the 25th regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerk state the quote of the evening? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. Thank you. Will the clerk call the roll? Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Excused. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Alderperson Heideman. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Perella. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Peterson. Here. There are nine present. All right, if folks could stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, uh, approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from the fourth special and the 24th regular council meetings held on March 25th and March 18th, 2024, respectively. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on these minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? Those are approved. Next is a resignation, city attorney. There is one uh, resignation, uh, Matt Weersbach from the Sheboygan Historic Preservation Commission, effective immediately. Thank you, Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections? That's approved, thank you. Next is a confirmation of mayoral appointments. City Attorney. The Mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your confirmation, Alder Daniel Peterson, to be considered for appointment to the Public Works Committee. Alder Decker. I move to confirm. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in, oh, this is roll call vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine eyes. All right, that's approved. City Clerk, anyone for public forum this evening? One this evening, Brian Kelly. All right, Mr. Kelly, you want to come on up? And then if you could state your name and address and then the item you're referring to and then uh, you'll have five minutes. Um, my name is Brian Kelly. Um, my address is 2006 South 9th Street. Um, I just wanted to talk about the, um, the farm development um, the, I think it's part of TID 23 um, that was in the meeting packet. Uh, so part of that, uh, it was hard to tell from the plan that was there if there was um, going to be any sidewalks or any walkability uh, thought put into this neighborhood. Um, Strong Towns put out a few articles about how walkable neighborhoods tend to have higher property values. Um, from my understanding, the TID, the purpose of the creation of that TID was to um, raise the value uh, of that area. Um, so I just want to make sure that the city um, is putting thought as it goes through this planning process into how to make this a walkable neighborhood, um, just so that the city isn't leaving money on the table there. Um, I think it would be great to um, involve the Sheboygan, uh, Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force uh, as these plans are being created. I think it would be a great opportunity to invite them to just be part of that conversation. So that's all I had to say. Thank you. Thank you. City Clerk, anyone else? No one this evening. Thank you. All right. Mayor's announcements, just a few items here. Uh, Want to give a recognition to our friends at WSCS uh, for winning some recognition at the Best of the Midwest Media Fest. So the Best of the Midwest Media Fest recognizes the outstanding video and radio programs produced by professionals and amateurs who use low power FM radio stations and PEG media centers to produce and distribute their programming. Seven local programs won awards, uh, which will be presented in May. Um, so just wanna congratulate our city partners uh, for working alongside of UFCS, including Uptown Social, the Mead Public Library, and the city of Sheboygan, and for contributing and working with our teams for these accolades. Um, Uptown Social, uh, what their program uh, is with uh, obviously the illustrious Marilyn Montemayor's cooking programs. Um, City Hall's uh, relating to the Armory Historic 
a tribute video. And then the uh, Mead Public Library submitted the Tribal Resiliency presentation with the Wisconsin Academy. So just wanna give a big shout out to our man behind the camera, Scott Mileff. So Scott, put the camera on yourself, if you can do that. <laughs> uh, and just congratulations. <laughs> Getting all those camera angles in. So uh, just <laughs> congratulations again for our team for getting some good recognition. So, and also I was handed a note uh, by Marilyn Montemayor as well, very important announcement. Uh, Uptown Social will be serving liver and onions tomorrow from <laughs> 11.30 to 12.30, which is, uh, I heard a very hot item uh, when that's on the menu at Uptown Social. So check it out, Member <laughs> membership discounts as well, I was told. So Marilyn will be uh, working her uh, culinary magic down there at Uptown Social. So those are all the notes I have for this evening. <laughs> all right, we will jump into our consent agenda. Items 29 through one, or excuse me, nine through 26. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all the resolutions and ordinances. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Alder Decker. Yes, uh, I would like to pull items 20 and 21 as separate. All right. Okay. Second. Okay. Um, I would. There, what I would like to do is is uh, just take out uh, on those two items um, the wording, 2024 complete streets and change it to just 2024 road projects. Uh, those really don't meet the complete streets criteria. Uh, they were early on in the. They, they've been. Um, on our uh, capital improvements plan for quite a couple of years before we even had the complete streets program. So they really aren't, I mean, they, they will have some aspects of complete streets in them, but they really don't fit the criteria. Okay. So we'll, we'll take over number 20. So there's been a motion to change the verbiage, or item 20, um, and remove the verbiage for complete streets um, and change it to road program, road projects. Um, yep. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded by Alder Peterson. Any discussion on this item? Alder Rust? So is there a reason why we would be taking away the complete, like I understand that it's not entirely complete streets, but isn't it part of the initiative still moving forward or is it because we haven't created the, like developed the whole initiative yet? It, it's basically because we haven't really created the initiative yet. These were already, plan, design, everything before we actually started to complete streets. Okay. So these really don't have that, those aspects to them. I guess uh, if you want to, I see Kevin nodding, if you want to just jump in there and just kind of do it. Okay, Any, anyone from Public Works? Kevin yeah. or Aaron? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're in the early stages of developing the complete streets policy. Okay. And so we really didn't maybe jump the gun a little bit on naming these complete streets projects in the CIP, mm -hmm. but we're not gonna go away from that policy, but. Right, so would, may I? Continue? So would um, the, does this contain aspects of the complete streets policy that we're trying to develop? Yes, there are some okay. aspects, yes. All right. Thank you. All right, Alder Flicky Pineski. Thank you, um, we're on 20 or Correct. 21? 20. No. I'll, I'll defer to 21. Okay. Any other discussion on this amendment? All right, seeing no more cues, this will be a voice, oh, Alder Preller. Yeah, just very, very quick, because I'm a little disappointed, of course, I was very happy to see the complete streets on both of these projects. So I was just wondering, um, I assume that there is also a financial element, right? So first that changes at this stage would not be possible to reflect something that we want to try to implement from now on. So changes will not be possible at this stage. Now question number one and two, also there would be a financial in, uh, implication in, in any change that we would make, in, in, implement in that direction, right? Yes and yes. Yes and yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. okay, seeing no more cues, we'll take item 20 in the amendment first. Uh, seeing no more cues, all those in favor of the amendment, state aye. Aye. Any objections? All right, that amendment is approved. We'll take item 20 um, as a whole. Any other discussion on item 20? All right, seeing no more cues for item number 20, all those in favor of approving item number 20, state aye. Aye. Any objections? All right, that is approved. 
Next item 21, Alder Decker. Um, I uh, would like to do the uh, same thing, uh, to remove the uh, words complete streets 2024 and change it to road projects. All right, there's been an amendment to change the verbiage of, of complete streets to road projects. Is there a second? Second. Uh, who is the second? Yeah. Okay, Alder Heideman. Any discussion on item 21? Alder Flicky Paneski. Thank you. This is in um, my district, and this particular street has been bumped and bumped again and bumped again, and it's finally going to be there. Um, I was privy to a couple of um, drawings and diagrams for cross uh, crosswalks and um, concrete in the middle of the there's a five-way space up there, um, and that is part of Complete Streets. I have also had constituents ask about, are they going to cut down all the pretty trees if they mess with the street? Um, I didn't know the answer to that, but I assured them that if the trees could stay, they would stay. So uh, to, to the point of it being a Complete Street, Please make it a quote unquote complete street as much as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments on item 21? All right, seeing no more cues, all those in favor of the amendment, state aye. Aye. Any objections? Seeing none, we're back at the main item for 21. Any other discussion on item 21 as amended? All right, seeing no cues, all those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objections? All right, that's approved. We're back at the consent agenda as a whole for the remaining items. Any other questions on any of the remaining consent agenda items? All right, seeing no more cues, this will be a roll call vote. Nine eyes. All right, there we go. Those items are approved. Next reports of officers, item 27, RO number 129-23-24 by the city's uh, attorney submitting for information a copy of Court of Appeals decision dated March 20th, 2024 in a matter of Wisconsin Department of Revenue and excuse me, City of Plymouth versus Master Gallery Foods. Uh, Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I uh, move to accept and file. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing no cues, this is a voice vote. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Any objections? That's approved. Items 28, 29, and 30 will be referred to their respective committees. Next, resolution item 31, resolution number 201 24 by older persons Decker and Rust authorizing executing a one-year lease with David Gartman, LLC, for the agricultural property in the city of Sheboygan. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Is there any objections? There's been an objection. We're going to a vote. All those in favor of suspending the rules, say aye. 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 Any objections? All right. Uh, seeing, so the rules have been suspended. Alder Decker, back to the main motion. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. Just wanted to ask if there was anybody who could give us a little bit of background as to the purpose behind the agreement or the intent behind it? Yep, city administrator. <clears throat> yes, this is the annual contract that we enter into with the Gartman property. So <clears throat> this contract is for them to farm the farmable portions of the land that we've purchased. And it's part of the uh, purchase agreement that we entered into. And we just, basically it says annually we'll do this. Uh, this contract is 93 acres less, something like that. Um, so we took out the northern portion of the property because we plan on development starting yet this year. So we took out that 93 acres. We met with Mr. Gartman and discussed that with him and came up with a, um, an area that we're all, a mutual understanding of. He will farm below a certain point and that is reflected. So you'll see that payment will be smaller and the amount of acreage that they're farming this year will be smaller. Thank you. Alder Flicky Paneski. Thank you. Um, and the reason I didn't want to suspend the rules is this is an annual thing, and this is not the first year. So if it could come before the council without suspending rules in future years, that would be great. Thank you for those comments. Anyone else on this item? Seeing no more cues, this will be a roll call vote.
Nine eyes. All right, that's approved. <laughs> Items 32, 33, and 34 will be referred to their respective committees. Reports of committees, uh, item 35, RC number 248-2324 by the Licensing Hearing and Public Safety Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 195-2324 by Older Persons Russ and Feldy, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement for urban search and rescue uh, response services for the period of July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2026. Older Rust. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved in, seconded. Any discussion on this item? Alder Perella? Yeah, I was just, I, I tried to understand. So who, 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 which department is in the city is involved with this and with the training? So that, that would fall under the fire department. And oh. uh, so a couple years ago, this is just an, uh, for the state, they require us to sign, re-sign the contract every two years. Uh, this is that urban re task force that uh, the council approved uh, two years ago, which would allow our members to be trained and then deployable if needed throughout the state, the county, or nationally. Um, it's already paid dividends for our department. We assisted uh, Elkhart Lake and also uh, Oostburg, um within the past six months uh, based on our members' training. So it's already paid dividends. Again, this is a no cost. Uh, um, the feds pay for uh, all the training, or the state, I should say. So it, it benefits the city greatly. And may I just one brief yep. follow up? And um, do you see that as a value added also as a training, generally speaking, to your personnel? Without a doubt, they've already uh, brought back what they've learned and we're training all our members. They won't be certified to the same level, obviously, but just uh, in, in a basic hands-on. So when we get uh, called out in the city, they can start mitigating those incidents. Wonderful, thank you. You bet. Thank you. Other discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this is roll call vote. Nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Item 36, RC number 231, 23, 24 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 182, 23, 24 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Flicky Paneski, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Mike Caney Construction for phase two remodeling improvements for the Uptown Social Building in effort to further enhance the lives of Uptown Social members. Elder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adapt the resolution. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this will be a roll call vote. Nine eyes. That's approved. Item 37, RC number 233, 23, 24 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 124, 23, 24 by Comptroller Evan Grossen pursuant to Sheboygan Municipal Code 2-912B. That requires the Comptroller to file with the Common Council a list of claims approved, showed the dated paid and the name of the claimant and the purpose of the amount in the attached list paid Vouchers for February 2024. Holder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and file the document. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing no cues, this is a roll call vote. Nine nice. eyes. That's approved. All right, we've exhausted the agenda. Alder Decker, what's your pleasure? I move to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We are adjourned at 620.